Hey friends, this is Prajita from Excel Champs back again. In today's video, we are going to learn about calculating ratios in Excel. There are only four methods available to calculate ratio in an Excel sheet. Now in this video, we will go through each and every method one by one. The four methods are listed on my screen that is simple divide, GCD function, substitute and text function and by using round function. Now before we start learning these methods, there are four basic formulas which we will use again and again. Now let's learn about these two basic formulas. I hope you know about them, but still let's know a little bit about these formulas. First of them is concatenate. Now this function is used to combine two text. Like here for an example, I have a word Excel in L4 and champs in M4. Now let's club these two words. What I will do is I will simply type is equal to select the first function M% Now I need to give a space between these two words. So what I will do is I will add a blank space and again I will type M% and I will select the other word that is champs and press enter. Now I have clubbed these two words, these two cell values into one with a single space. The next function is text function. Now let's see what it does is here I have a number 0.85. Now by using text function, I can define the format of this text like here I will give 0%. Now this text function will convert my 0.85 into percentage. Let's see how this works. I press enter. Now my 0.85 is changed into 85% as I gave the command of 0%. Now the substitute as the name suggests this function is used to substitute a letter a particular word with another for an example i'll select this text and i'll change my capital t to let's say small a i'll press enter now see my capital t has been substituted by small a in my word substitute now the last function which we have used is round function now round function is used to round off a given value to a given number of spaces like I'll use round off 2.12345 let's say to two places. So I'll press enter. Now my number 2.12345 will be changed to 2.12 let's see. Similarly if I change this to, to let's say 1. So this will return me 2.1. So these are the four functions which we have used to calculate the ratios. Now we'll start with this first method that is simple divide method. I have an example. I have a number of students which have passed a given examination and here I have a few students who have failed the examination. Now while using the simple divide method, you have to keep in mind that your larger number is divisible by the smaller number like 25 is divisible by 5 36 is divisible by 4 similarly 45 3 and 66 now what you will do is we will simply divide the first number 25 divided by the c value this will give me the value of 5 since i need this ratio what i will do is i will simply concatenate this value with my ratio sign and 1 so this has given me the ratio 5 ratio 1 similarly I'll drag this down now all my ratios are here so this was the simple divide method now the another method is GCD function we must have read this in our mathematics class GCD is the greatest common divisor now using the greatest common divisor what we will do is we will simply divide the larger number by GCD of both these numbers this and this and we will add a ratio sign concatenate it and again we will divide the smaller number with the 
जी सी डी ऑफ बोथ दी नंबर अगेन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू गिव मी दी रेशियो ऑफ बोथ दी नंबर सो दिस वॉज यूजिंग दी जी सी डी फंक्शन हेयर अगेन दी नंबर आर डिविजिबल बाय द स्मॉलर नंबर नाउ द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज सब्सटीट्यूट एंड टेक्सट फंक्शन now the substitute and text function we'll use them one by one now the text as we as we have already understood what text function does is it gives the value in the desired format now first of all we'll be using the text function i'll simply mention text and i'll divide 25 by 5 and i'll ask for the format let's say hash divide by this now let's see what this returns now i got 5/1 now what we'll use is we'll change this backslash to the colon how we'll do this i will simply add a function substitute here substitute the uh black backslash with the colon sign Done. Now my value was calculated using the text function. Now I have used this substitute only to substitute my back backslash with the colon. So here I am dragging this formula. Now I am done. I got the ratio of the two numbers. Now the last method is calculate ratio with the round function. Now this method is used when you have the values. in decimals like if you divide 25 by 10 you will get 2.5 similarly 39 by 4 is also a decimal value as i have already mentioned it's 9.8 now let's see how this works first of all we will simply divide 25 by 10 now this is 2.5 now what we will do is we will simply add a round function here I want to round off this value to two or one. Let's say one. And what I will do is I will concatenate this with my colon function and one. So this has given me two point five ratio one. So I am dragging this, and I got all my values here in decimals. Now I can also like. make it to 0 so it has rounded off my number 9.8 to 10 15.3 to 15 same way i can change it to let's say three bases now i hope you like this video thanks for watching